This is In Through the Outdoors, and I'm your anchor, Jason Walter, with ITTO News. Weights? Again? Are we really that dumb and that crooked? An angler who competed in the Big Bass Splash Tournament on Toledo Bend Reservoir has been arrested after turning in a bass at the weigh-in that was immediately flagged by the weightmaster. The fish was set aside and an investigation revealed that the bass had lead weights inside of it. Agents determined there were 2.59 pounds of lead used to illegally make the fish heavier. But wait! W-A-I-T, not W-E-I-G-H-T. There is more! An Indiana man allegedly cheated in an Illinois bass fishing tournament earlier this month by bringing fish across state lines and trying to pass them off as tournament catches. 49-year-old David Moore of St. John's, Indiana, was hiding bass on a stringer on the Calumet River and later used them at weigh-in. More than 100 Alumacraft Boat Company workers lost their jobs recently at the company's St. Peter production plant, splitting the site's workforce after another round of layoffs. It's the second round of job cutoffs in eight months by parent company BRP. You heard Bass Pro Shops let go of 176 employees, right? I'm afraid it's not over. Alpha Media USA cut ties with programming staff at radio stations in Minnesota, South Dakota, and more. If you tuned in for a tip, here you go. A number six flicker shad is different from the rest, and it works great around rocks and boulders. That thing bounces off of everything. On the calendar, Shields Grill Fest is in Sioux Falls tomorrow from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. That's an ITTO news update. Enjoy the weekend. I'm Chasen Walter, and that's in through the outdoors. You'll find more at ChasenWalter.com, Facebook, Spotify, and YouTube. Thanks for listening. Here's an invite to check out ChaseAndWalter.com for more In Through the Outdoors. You'll find episodes in print, and you can use it to buy the latest from Kuyu and Chase and Walter's microbeaded spells. And please add ITTO to your YouTube music playlist.